Revelation chapter 8 The first angel sounded his trumpet, and there came hail and fire mixed with blood. The second angel sounded his trumpet, a third of the sea turned into blood. The third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star, blazing like a torch, fell from the sky. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters turned bitter. The fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and a third of the sun turned dark. Chapter 9 The fifth angel sounded his trumpet. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. And out of the smoke, locusts came down on the earth and were given power like that of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months, and the agony they suffered was like that of the sting of a scorpion when it strikes. During those days people will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. The locusts looked like horses prepared for battle. On their heads they wore something like crowns of gold, and their faces resembled human faces. Their hair was like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. They had breastplates like iron, and the sound of their wings was like the thundering of many horses and chariots rushing into battle. They had tails with stings like scorpions. They had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name is Apollyon, that is, destroyer. The sixth angel sounded his trumpet, and the four angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. The number of the mounted troops was twice ten thousand times ten thousand. Their breastplates were fiery red, dark blue, and yellow as sulphur. A third of mankind was killed by the three plagues of fire, smoke, and sulphur that came out of their mouths. The power of the horses was in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails were like snakes having heads with which they inflict injury. The rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues still did not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worshipping demons and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood. Nor did they repent of their murders, their magic arts, their sexual immorality, or their thefts.